Hi Jenny. Hi Miriam. Hi Karen. Hello Shelley. Hi Gina. Hi Joanne. Hi Sonia. Hi Fiona. Hi Margaret. Hi, hi Maureen, sorry. Hope you're well. Hi Anne. Hi Pat. Another lovely day it is, isn't it? A bit cold, but it is lovely. Hello Lucy. Hi Debbie. Hi Sue. I've got my cable in the way. Let me just see if that turns a little bit like that. I'm talking to myself now already. Hi Fiona, good morning. Hi Holly. Hello everybody. Hi Miriam. Hi Roz. Hello Yvonne. I didn't have a DOS day Yvonne. <laughs> I ended up finishing a couple of stamp designs because Abs needed them. So I didn't have a DOS day. Whoops. Hi Anne, how are you? Hi Bev, hi Lee. Hi Carmen. I'm not too bad, are you? Yes, we're all doing well, thank you. Are yours? Is everybody well? Good afternoon, Debbie. Good afternoon, everybody. How are we all? Are you ready for another load of waffle? Hi Anne, 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 sorry Anne, hi Anne, hi Alison, how is everybody, what have you been up to? Hi Kim, from Grey Scotland, it's quite bright here actually Kim, it's not too bad, hi Leslie, and Chrissy's saying hi to Anne, hi Nicola, hi Val, good afternoon, have you got your copy, I've just had mine Val, just had my copy, Hi Helen. Hello Carol. I love how you're all saying hi to each other. I end up reading out the comments and saying hi to everybody. So what have you been up to? I've been cleaning. I'm very well Sue, are you? Hi Jane. Hi Tony. I've been cleaning. Really riveting. Hi Diane. Hi Yvonne. I'm just waiting for a few to arrive. I set my alarm so I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Thanks Joanne. Hi Angie. Welcome. I'm looking forward to this craft session actually because I've been cleaning this morning and that was that was just so boring. Hi Archana. Hello there. Catching up with my mini book. I've finished mine. Finished my little books. I'll show you them. Hi Serena. Hi Sheila. Them mini books are them mini books are really addictive. Shh, don't tell everybody. But Wales is sunny. Yay, Sue. Sunny Wales. Hello, Sue. We had coffee in the garden earlier. It's very quiet. I know we're quiet here as well. Because sometimes we have traffic at the back, but it's really quiet. Hi Fee. Hi June. I don't like technology either. Cannot get you on my tablet. What I had to do, Lee, because my it wouldn't come up on my tablet either. I had to sort of swipe it up so that I could refresh it again and then come back in and then I was there. I had to do that three times before I showed up. You've been watercolouring, have you, Shelley? Ooh, I haven't had my watercolours out for a while, actually. I just said hi to myself by mistake. <laughs> Chris, that's what I do. I put a message up earlier on my message and said hello to myself. So I do things like that. <laughs> oh, I've been spring cleaning as well, Ginny. Oh, so boring. I need to do the voils next, but I can't be bothered. I just don't want to do it at all. And it's sunny in, in Harwick. Is that how you spell it? Because when I said that in Scotland, Harwick, it was hoik. So I'm hoping it's Harwick in Essex. Hi, Val. Hello, Lynn. How are you? I've been stalking Facebook for the last 10 minutes waiting for you. <laughs> oh, bless you, Jenny. Hello there. So we've got quite a few now. So I was digging out a little giveaway for you. Sunny in Sheffield, on and off. Oh, it's really nice here. It's quite, it's cold, but it's nice. Especially if you've got a bit of outdoor space that you can go and blow away the cobwebs. Hi, Ali. How are you? 
How are you, Fee? Hope everybody's well and still plodding along. Hi, Dawn. Afternoon, Fiona. How are you? Hi, Ellie. And who have we got? And hello, Bonnie. Managed to get here on time, finally. Hope you're well. I'm very well, thank you. Are you? I'm newly and I'm addicted to your demos. <laughs> oh, bless you, Linda. Thank you. Am I keeping you sane? <laughs> My husband can't believe that I'm actually keeping some of you sane. He can't believe that. Tracy, you know the make the make along book. What else do I need to do for my homework? Please can you link me to the video? I'll have to do that afterwards, Christine. I can't link it here, Flower, because it's in my group. So I'll link you afterwards in my group. So if anybody wants to join the group, let me see if I can put a link. Sometimes it lets me, sometimes it doesn't. Yes, it does. So yes, so I'm also thinking of maybe doing a workshop and I'll set up a group. I don't know what you think. Just charging a nominal fee because I've got to earn some pennies at some time. But I was thinking of doing a like a canvas or a plaque. You could do it on anything and maybe sort of doing something similar to we're doing today, but charge a nominal fee, maybe 10 or 12 pounds, because obviously I wouldn't be sending a kit. I don't have to travel, so I can charge a nominal fee, but we'll see what we think. And it's gorgeous in London, Wendy. Wow, how lovely. Blue skies for Nicola as well in Kent. Yeah, so it does cheer you up a little bit, doesn't it? Hi, Maggie. Good afternoon, Lisa, how are you? We're all very, we all seem to be well today, to be honest. So I've dug out a little giveaway from, for you. Hello from Finland. I love it when we have different countries joining us. Only found out I could do this yesterday. Now loving watching on a big screen. Oh, it's frightening when you say I'm on the big screen. I'm all right when I think I'm on a little square, but when I think you're watching on a big screen, it terrifies me. Just watching today, I'm still waiting for my new stamps. Hopefully they'll be with you soon, Kelly. I know that all in creator working on them. Just in time, Pam. I haven't done anything yet, Pam. I've just waffled. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking what I'll do is I might do a canvas or a plaque doing the technique we're doing today, but different with stamps. And I might set it up as a little workshop. And what I can do is I can set up a separate group and then just the people who pay for the workshop come to that group. And then when we've done the workshop, I can close that group down and keep starting a new gr group for a workshop, but only charge a nominal fee like 10 or 12 pounds because I don't have to charge for the kit. So we'll have to see what we think anyway. So yes, please to the canvas. Okay, Diane, I don't want to charge too much, but I need to earn a living somehow, but I'm just having to think about it. So I'll see what I think. I'll make the project first and then see what you think. So I've got a little giveaway for today. So if you'd like to share the video, that'd be much appreciated. If not, that's appreciated as well. I'm just glad you're here. Hi, Carol. Hi, Danielle. How are you? There's still a few people joining us. How lovely. There's quite a few from Scotland. Hi, Gina. So I've got a little giveaway for you. So the giveaway today, um, I've still got to draw what day of the week am I on Saturday? I've still got to draw Thursday's giveaway, but I'm keeping up to date with them. Hi, Hilary. Hi, Judith. Hello there. Received mine today. Brilliant, Pat. Oh, from James. Brilliant. Thanks, Pat. Thank you for ordering. You're all so good. You've been so supportive. So I've got a little giveaway. So the giveaway today is a ace what styles a7 just for a change my brain isn't working hello Anne from Norway how lovely to have some different countries with us yes to the workshop oh brilliant thanks Nicola so I've got an a7 stamp for you so that's a new one and I've got two little pots for you I think the, I don't know what these are made out of but the two little pots so I thought you could use them I've got a little frame because I thought you could do a framed piece, maybe. So a little frame. Oh, you are good sharing. Thank you, Lynn. Thanks, Ginny. I've got a couple of plaques for you, a medium sized one and a couple of small ones because I thought they would go nice on there like that. So a couple of plaques and I've got a couple of frames, the Tim Holtz ones. I thought it would inspire you to do a couple of framed pieces, maybe. Oh, thanks for sharing. You're all so good. So there's a couple of, well, there's three frames there. So I thought you could perhaps do a framed piece and maybe do that on the canvas that we create. And a frame there, 
a couple of these vases, a stamp and some plaques. So we'll dump that on the floor. Thank you for sharing. You're very good to me, thank you. So th what we're going to do today, or what I'm hoping today, if I don't waffle too much, is that we're going to create a plaque. I can't find the pencil stamp anywhere, and it's Tracy's fault, called in. <laughs> Danielle, apparently, um, All and Create said to me that if you contact your stockists and let them know that you want the pencil stamp, then they hopefully will all they will order the stamp then from All and Create, and they will bring it back in stock. Hello, Stephanie, Stefania. I do beg your pardon. Hello there, Stefania. Hello, Annalie. Annalise. Hello there. Hello, Chantal. Hello, Sophie and Mimi. Thanks, Anne. Hello there. You're very good sharing for me. Thank you. Hello, Terry. Hi, Kelly. I hope I haven't missed anybody. I'm sorry if I've missed anybody. So what I've got here is I've got a plaque because we've created a card for a few days. So I thought today we create a plaque. Maybe it'll inspire you to create something a little bit different. So we'll see. So it's a plaque we're going to create today. And what we're going to create is we're going to create pieces like this. So this is made out of tissue. As you can see, this is just tissues. So this is made out of a tissue. Tissues that you blow your nose on. Oh, thank you for sharing, Hazel. Bless you. Thank you, Kim. Hi, Maz. You've missed nothing, Kelly. Just the giveaway. I've, do, uh, I've done a giveaway and I'm thinking of doing an online class. That's all I've said so far. Absolutely nothing you've missed. Bless you, Becky. Thank you. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome. Hi, Emma. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Ma Maria. Hello there. Hi, Ruth. Thank you for sharing. You're all so good to me. So what I thought we'd do today is we create this tissue piece like so. And what I'm going to do, as I'm going to do a follow-on with this, with a class. I'll do a class with stamps doing this technique, so I thought that would be good. Um, oh, you've got no sound. Oh, that's not good, is it, Lee? Maybe go back out and come back in again. Oh, Sarah John Allen chaired, did she? Oh, bless her. Thank you. No, not loo roll. Tissues that you blow your nose on. Maybe loo roll would work anyway, but that's so scarce. But I know that when I went, hi Sue, when I went in the shops, I could get tissues. So there you go. You could use them for this and to wipe your bottom on as well. There you go. <laughs> so we're going to create that piece and we're going to create a clay piece as well. Mine is too, Sue. Very frustrating. I wonder why it's doing it. I think, to be honest, because so many of us are doing lives, I think it's having an effect on the way that, you know, everything's running. Oh, thank you for sharing, Terry. Bless you. So this is air dry clay. So we're going to create these two pieces first and then we're going to... It took 20 minutes today. Wow, Sue. So we're going to create these two pieces and then we're going to create the plaque from it. Hope this is a clean one. Nah, not a clean one. <laughs> No way, Tracy. Yes, so we've got air dry clay and we've got tissues we blow our nose on. And if you get desperate, you can wipe your bottom on it afterwards. So we'll start first. Let's get our stencil. Hello, Francis. Hi, Jenny. So I'm using this stencil today, but obviously I'm not going to create this big piece because you don't. I have air dry clay. Yay, Joanne. So I'm going to create it in a smaller piece because obviously you don't want to wait for me doing the same thing. I don't do clean, do I, Ginny? <laughs> so we're going to create it in a smaller piece. And then with the smaller piece I create, I'm going to create a little book out of it. You know these little books that we did? That was my little book. I've finished mine now. I added an index clip and I've finished mine. I'm so chuffed with them. They're quite addictive, they are. I'm going to create lots more of them, so I'm loving them. So we're going to create this first. So we'll just move this out the way and I'll show you how to create it. What number stencil, please? Let me see if I've still got the packaging. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, I have. Bear with me. 
So I'm using this stencil, stencil 48, which is tribal lines. So I quite liked these that look like stitches to me, so that's why I'm using it. So what number of stencil is 48? So that's why I'm using that one, because I've created a few clay pieces for you so that we're going to be able to experiment. This is with the dragonfly one. So we'll explain all this later. Let's do it step by step first so you don't get confused. OK, so as you can see, I love the spring colours as well, Terry. The little books are so adorable. So we've got these tissues, look, just tissues. Don't break them up, just use them as is. Whether they're two ply, three ply, it doesn't matter. Just use them as is. Your wee book is fab. Oh, thank you, June. I love the clips, Lee. So we're now going to add this. So what you need is a little container and you need a stiff brush. Hi, Paula. Hi, Ellie. So you need a stiff brush. So this is like a stipple brush. But as look, you know your old brushes that you use that sometimes... I need those clips as well. Oh, brilliant, Patricia. I love them. So what you need is a stiff brush. You know those brushes that we leave in glue sometimes? Well, Tracy does all the time. She leaves them in the glue all the time. Oh, thank you, Lucy, to the workshop. Thank you. Um, stressing outside the... Hang on. Stressing outside the pond pump don't work. Oh, no, Liz. Have you got your pot? We had a problem with our pond pump. And the heron tried to eat me fish damn thing although it was a beautiful thing but the heron tried to eat me fish i was not happy the clips you can get from uh i know i got my last lot from james the um the um spit it out traces spit it out index clips so yes i got my last lot from james so what we're going to do is we're going to do this technique now waves to australia have we got somebody from australia have i missed them Who've I, missed, who've I missed from Australia? Hello, whoever it is. I'm sorry if I missed you. Sorry I'm a bit late, just waiting for our grandson to be born. How exciting, Lorraine. Congratulations. Hope everything goes well. It's like a stencil brush, exactly, Kim. Just like a stencil brush. Hi, Tracy. Bit late, just back from shopping at Sainsbury's. Oh, I bet that was enjoyable, Lynn. So yes, I'm using a stencil brush, but any stiffish brush that you can use. So I'm using PVA glue. So what you're going to do is you're going to add your PVA glue. Let me just shake that. I'll just add this so you can see how much glue. So I'm doing it step by step. So I do apologise if the video's a bit long, but I've got to do it step by step. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Took a few minutes, but I'm here now. Hello, Maggie. So as you can see, I've got some PVA glue in there. And I'd say that was like a dessert spoonful. But to be honest, it's hit and, min hit and miss. You don't need to be specific. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, everybody. You don't need to be too specific. And all I've got here is water. So I've got water. I'm working on my mon mini book and forgot the time. Yay, Sue, I like the fact that you're engrossed. Hi, ID. That's okay, you've got all day. <laughs> oh dear, Gina, if I keep you all day, do you think we might cut out about three times? You were busy in the garden, Kim. That's good for you. That's really good for you. So I'm now going to add some water to my glue, like so. So as you can see, it's, it's only a little bit of water and you're going to give that a stir. Just stir your glue up, just so you get a little mixture. Just keep stirring it until it's mixed up. Hello, Julie. Is it Julie? Yes, it is Julie. How exciting to have a grandson being born. Hey, I know. Wouldn't it be amazing if she announced he was born on live? That would be fab. Oh, I love that you're all playing with these mini books, the fact that you've all shared. Hi, Charmaine. Welcome. Shall I have to get a yoghurt pot out? Go get your yoghurt pot out the bin, Patricia. We'll just keep waffling for a bit. You go and do a little jog to the bin. Patricia's just jogging to the bin. Just use an old container, a yoghurt pot, anything. Add your glue and a bit of water. Let's just give Patricia a couple of seconds to run to that bin. Hi, Julie. So I'm just stirring that PVA glue. 
just to get a nice mixture just so there's no lumps so you're just stirring that thank you to whoever suggested i go out of facebook and try again i suggested that as well you go out of facebook try again and it comes back on it's a strange thing hi paula how are paula how are you sorry i can't speak at the moment paula i've got no brain cells i can't pronounce anybody's name at all sue lane have to do the same every time sue i had to do the same three times i had to go out and back in again to so that i could find myself so as you can see i've stirred that pva glue into the water okay so hopefully we're back now back again patricia have you got your yogurt pot so your yogurt pot a dollop of glue and some water and give it a good mixing patricia okay a nice good mixing so that you've got no lumps that's about as much as much mixing as i do i don't do baking i can't i'm useless hello rizwana i'm going to prepare dinner and i'll watch your video tonight okay Angie. no problem hi jackie i would adore having grandchildren i went out and came back and it worked yay lucy so what you're going to do is you're going to add your tissue to your stencil like so now when i did my big piece like this i added two pieces of tissue so that it covered the whole stencil now you can i use mod podge yes i can't see why not yeah what brush do you use tracy i'm using a hard stipple brush i'm using a stipple brush as long as you've got a stiff brush anything stiff and we're talking about brushes please nothing else but yes as long as you use a, a stiff brush okay so i'm hoping you can see this on the side i'm just tipping off the excess of the glue back into my pot can you see i'm not saturating it and what i'm getting oh we've missed a step that's talking to you lot you see what you need to do is take your distress oxides and add your distress oxide i'm just going to use vintage photo this time apply your distress oxide ink to your stencil just a smear it over you can see brilliant no tissues try and kitchen roll anything will do gina try kitchen roll what are you trying hang on what brush do you use i've answered that no tissues try and kitchen roll that's fine gina it doesn't matter that you're late sue doesn't matter at all so apply ink whatever color ink you want if you want to try a different color to me you try a different color if you want but i'm using brown because that's what i'm using for my canvas so give your stencil a really good inking okay so i'm doing a small piece of tissue not the big piece that made my partner laugh <laughs> you can rely on me maggie hi sandra so ink your stencil like so with your distress oxide and that's a perfect picture we can see there so then add your tissue that you blow your noses on or wipe your bottoms on however desperate you get so then you're going to dip your brush in your glue and just drain off the excess excess so then bang your stipple brush over the tissue like so and this is going to drive you mad with the sound yes you can use distress ink as well it doesn't have to be oxides you can use archival ink you can use versafine clay makes no difference what you use but can you see i'm using my stipple brush and then going back to the glue can be archival yes it can be archival ink as well no problem at all i do apologize if i'm shouting but the banging here is quite loud what did piggy sue say because she said don't think so does does it have to be a stencil with the smallish holes no it can be any stencil you want piggy sue any stencil at all yeah the sunflower stencil i nearly did it with that it would be lovely with olga's sunflower stencil but i thought i'd use this stencil because i haven't used it for a bit and plus i want to add some stitching to my canvas so i thought it would look quite nice before or after you blow your nose or wipe your bottom no i, I definitely <laughs> i definitely wouldn't wipe your bottom first because that wouldn't go down very well it would go qu down quite well with the color don't you think it would go quite well with the color with the poo color so we'd be all right then it would all blend in nicely you all lead me astray 
so just keep dabbing like I'm doing I do apologize for the banging noise and if I'm making the camera move there's nothing I can do about that you can always rely on me so as you can see it's like that mixed with water absolutely Ros PVA glue mixed with water somebody's asking if you're okay Edith Sue is so I hope you're okay Edith so what we're doing now is take another tissue okay another tissue I'm in a good mood today, are you? Another tissue, that's because I like this technique and because I know I'm going to do a workshop with the stamp doing this technique. So I'll be doing a workshop with stamps with this technique. So then press your second tissue down over the top. So this is your second layer of tissue. This is te technique number nine I've learned from watching you. Oh, Sue, you make me feel ever so good. You really do. I'm trying my best. But you're also good to me <laughs> you can rely on me to talk about poo margaret you can skip that part where you ink the stencil if you if you do that yes you don't have to add ink if you don't want let me show you this one i added hardly any ink and do you know why it doesn't matter if you tissue paper not working why is it not working lee it doesn't matter if you don't add any color because you can paint it afterwards so it doesn't matter if you don't add any colour it's just I wanted colour why is the tissue paper not working Lee? Tracy you say PVA glue but what kind of glue is it? PVA just PVA glue craft PVA glue that dries clear any PVA glue Terry any PVA glue just dries clear so any PVA glue so bring your glue back in and then go over your second tissue like so okay don't over wet it but you need to make sure you pounce in those areas of your stencil hello Anne hi Kelly so just press this you're pressing the tissue into the areas of your stencil would be great with gilding wax too we'll be doing that as well Joanne so you just need to just keep adding your layers so just bear with me just white yeah just white school glue sue absolutely fine as long as it dries clear no problem at all you're very welcome terry that's what i'm here for so you've now added now added your second layer of tissue okay tissue paper yeah no not tissue paper tissues that you blow your nose on you know that you blow your nose on let me get me box here you go let's do a bit of advertising kleenex tissues i'm using any tissues that you can get it doesn't matter any tissue so i'm not rushing this facebook live today so if you get bored feel free to just jump away because i'm not rushing this facebook live today i'm determined to answer all your questions at the same time so and this is how i'll do my workshops as well we'll do them live we'll do the workshops live but they will not be shared on youtube because it's for those that pay for the workshop but we'll be doing them live so you can ask lots of questions so apply your next layer of tissue and pat it down like so don't worry we've only got one more layer after this but you can add as many layers as you like so pat your next tissue down Oh, I'm glad you're learning another technique, Terry. Sorry, Sue. Yay, we get those in Holland too, Tracy. Wonderful. We like the fact you get them in Holland as well, Terry. That's good news. So now, just tap it again. Don't worry, we've only got to do this one more time. But just imagine if you created a little book from this. Imagine this being your cover of your book the shelves will be empty again oh i like to cause a few problems in the supermarket saves it being toilet roll for a change let's cause some more problems i love causing a national shortage so just apply that i might be able to get away with three layers but we will do it properly we'll do it with four layers yes to workshop and we will work and will the workshop be kept in the group to watch later absolutely medulla the workshop yes it will and the price of the workshop will be about 10 or 12 pounds 
just to keep it at a minimum cost um, and it'll be kept in the group and obviously those people that have paid will be the only people that are invited because obviously that's the way it needs to work so I'm going to create a piece for the workshop and it'll probably be a tissue technique with rubber stamps that time so this is your last layer exactly make a little book with the with the tissues so those of you that have been doing the little books create this into a book cover it would be amazing absolutely amazing i'm trying to give you as many things to do because i don't want any of you to get bored i want you to be inspired i want you to be happy it's a difficult time and we need to keep each other going so that's the whole point of these lives we need to keep each other going you're interested in the workshop too pat that's lovely thank you that means it's worthwhile me making a project so i'll make a project and obviously in that workshop we'll be doing it live like we're doing now but we'll be we'll interact with each other and we may do the workshop in one session two sessions there'll be prep beforehand so that we'll be doing it in lots of sessions there'll be no rush and every video will be kept in the group no problem at all but we'll do them live so that you can interact with me and it doesn't matter if those videos disappeared disappeared because something happened with facebook i'd just do them again no problem at all so that would be done that's the fourth layer uh floriana yes that's the fourth layer but you could add as many layers as you wanted so say you wanted your book cover to be nice and thick you could have as many layers as you want home bargains had some on thursday i i didn't have a problem getting tissues get bored i can't keep up <laughs> so, <laughs> oh maggie that's so funny <laughs> you're interested in the workshop as well sue thank you very much for letting me know turn your stencil over and then just lift it oh wow look at this don't you just love that and the workshop is going to be doing it with stamps what do you think of that hi eileen what do you think yes i love the scottish islands oh i'm just dropping off <laughs> hey lee at least you're getting some exercise for those bingo wings if you've got any i've got bingo wings so i need to exercise them a bit oh brilliant thank you sandra oh thank you and i thought what we could do with the workshop is we'd have the group and those that have paid because it'd be through paypal or bank transfer and those that have paid we'll have a lot of interaction we'll do a lot of like you know live videos do it step by step so that there's no rush as well i can't keep up sue says <laughs> listen i don't want you bored we don't want any mental health issues we need to keep you going of course you can use other stamps no problem at all so what do you think of that do you like it isn't it fab now what you need to do is let that dry okay let that dry overnight doesn't it look fab oh you, you, yes you did see it at the nec callie you're right actually that's a good point callie i wonder where that journal is did i set i think i sent the journal off yes i sent the journal off let me show you with a stamp hang on and bear with me a second i'm just trashing the place this is what we'll be doing on a workshop we'll be doing it with a stamp so if you're interested in the workshop this is what we'll be doing on the workshop not this stamp but we'll be doing it with a stamp okay and that'll be like the prep part and then we'll do the next stages afterwards so that's what we'll be doing on the workshop so do you like that oh brilliant thanks sorry so that's you need to let that dry overnight or during the day or put it in your airing cupboard or somewhere like that so put that on one side to dry so do you like that could have watched all day at the nec bless you callie you're all so good to me and we haven't finished yet we've got another technique to do yet so this is what it dries like okay so can you see that you've got pale patches dark patches i just love it oh thank you liz i missed a part did you remove the stencil yet hang on carmen hang on here it is carmen i removed it from the stencil look there you go i removed it what do you think 
It looks fab, doesn't it, with the teasel, Lucy? There you go, Carmen. What do you think? I just love it. But it dries paler. But do you know what I like about it? I love the fact that it's dark here, but light here. So you get darker patches. You get darker patches, don't you? Oh, I love it. I just love it. And then if you want, you can go over with your ink pad, like I've done here, over the raised areas, you can go over your ink pad. Hopefully you saw that, Carmen. Dry naturally, yes please, Floriana, dry naturally. And then I want to see some of you make a book out of it so you can show me. Let's see how it dries. This is how it dries, like this, Lee. This is how it dries, solid. It's absolutely solid, it dries. And if to prove how solid it is, I've machine stitched through mine. Can you see? I've machine stitched through it. It does look embossed, Eileen, yes. It is, it's just like it's embossed. It's all raised because you're pushing the tissue through the stencil. So it's all raised. I just spoke to you out loud, Tracy. What am I like? <laughs> you see, the idea of these Facebook Lives is that you'll all be as balmy as me by the end of it. I just, <laughs> I received my nibs and mushroom stamps this morning. Oh, bless you, Rizwana. Thank you for ordering. Yes, just like, it's solid. And I've machine stitched through that. So just imagine folding it like this and making a book. Or I'm going to cut mine into this size to cover one of these book covers up, like so. Or... Even Eileen Hulls bought a new die out, which, let me show you, hang on a minute, because Eileen's live here with us. Just bear with me, hang on. Bear with me. Let's haul help each other. Look, you could cut the little book out of Eileen's out of that. So there's so many possibilities, absolutely so many possibilities. Hi Tracy, was your original one done with the, that colour as well? Yes it was, let me bring it back in. This one was done with the same colours as that one, but I probably added a little bit more ink to that one than I did that one, but you still dries, you still end up with dark patches and light patches because the oxide will still continue to bleed as well, so you'll get light patches where it's raised. I love it. So there you go. And we haven't even done the second technique yet. I would also like to do the workshop. Thank you, Sarah. Just let me know when and how much. The cost would probably be about 10 or 12 pounds, Sarah, because I can keep the cost down because I don't have to travel and I don't provide a kit. So it's tissue, tissues. Somebody's asking if this is kitchen roll. It's just normal tissues. Just normal tissues, Rubana. Right, are you ready for the next technique now? Tissues, so let's get on to the next technique. So this is our next technique, like so. I'm sorry, but this Facebook Live is going to be a long one. So if you get bored, feel free to disappear. So this is what we're going to create. This is in different stages. So this is with clay. This is air dry clay. I've used my dragonfly for this one. You can't see this one yet, but you will when I put waxes on. This is with the butterfly, and you will see that shortly with some waxes because this is the one that we're going to use. Can you see if I bring it down a bit? So this is the butterfly one. Oh, thank you, Ali. So we're going to use that. We're going to decorate that one, but let me show you how we did it. So I think we'll do it. Just bear with me. I'll just get my stamp. So I'm going to be using, where is it? I'm going to be using this stamp to do the demo with because I think this is going to look fantastic. A steel, yes, it's a steel rule die. Would love to do the workshop. Oh, thank you, Leslie. So this is the stamp that we're using. And I'm using this because I was interested. It doesn't matter that you're late dawn. This is going to be a long one, so it doesn't matter. 
So I'm going to be doing this butterfly because I was wondering how this detail will show up. So we'll see that live, okay? And did I get any clay out? Did I yet get any clay out? That would be too organised. So let's move the stamp out the way. We're running out of space again, folks, just for a change. I've done lots of clay pieces to show you. So I'm using the hearty soft clay. That won't be enough. Let me bring a new pack in. Hearty soft clay. And I didn't undo the packaging. I love the stamp, Julie. I, lo I can't wait to just add some waxes now to see what it looks like. Could you use thin cotton fabric like an old white sheet? Absolutely, Jenny. I'm I can't get me clay open. Why didn't I open the clay before we went live? Could you tell me? Because that would be too organised, wouldn't it? There we go. Let me get another dollop of clay. One more for the workshop, please. Bless you, Maria. Thank you. What I'll do is I'll advertise the workshop and then I'll put the cost and then you can message me if you want to pay. So I'm now going to just put this in a bag just for the minute. Just to keep it... You need to keep it airtight. It isn't airtight at the moment, but that'll do for now. So I've got a good dollop of clay here. I'm just ch I've just tidied my room. I've even hoovered it. And now I'm just chucking everything on the floor again. B be right back. I have to make me some tea. Oh, you enjoy your tea. I haven't got black clay. I haven't got black clay either, Sandra. I painted it. Don't worry about black clay. Just use what you've got. I, I've got a pack of blue clay. Use that, Samantha, and paint it. Absolutely no problem at all. Where's my... Now look at my rolling pin. Look how impressive that is. Look at that enormous rolling pin. It's a child's rolling pin. Oh, by the way, Lindsay says, you'd love to do a workshop. Bless you, Wendy. Thank you. If we can't do the workshop live, can we pay and catch up later? Absolutely, Kim. I'm going to keep it in there. And if anything happens to it and Facebook deleted it, I'd just do it again. Yeah, like we did for the book, Sue. Absolutely. So I'll make the project. Then you can see if you like the project. And then that's fine. Look at these children's rolling pin. That's that's how much cooking I do. Fimo should work as long as it's soft enough. Yes, I, I'm too lazy because I don't want to do any baking. I just want to, it to work straight away. Sorry, but that's just me. Let me get another stamp. Talk, talk amongst yourselves. I'm just climbing on my chair. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm just climbing on my chair. Because I want to do two pieces for you. Just climbing on my chair. Oh, that's a new stamp. Hang on. Keep talking to yourself. I'm still here. I'm just looking for stamps. There we go. I'm back now. What have you said? I have one, but it's for cake. Cakes? Can you imagine me doing cakes, Ginny? So I'm just going to flatten that down. And what you're going to do is roll it out. Now, before you, when you've got it to that stage, what you need, this is as close to baking as I'll get. You need a little touch of corn flour. Just a little touch of corn flour so it doesn't stick. Okay? And just pick some of that corn flour up and roll out your clay. Was the black paint matte or gloss? Oh, I just picked any. I, I don't tend to use gloss anything. I tend to... It's just, an, it's a, it was a cheap acrylic black paint. Do you know how much it cost me? A pound. I've got a rolling pin like this, but it was through a craft baking magazine. D you're joking, aren't you? A baking magazine? I can't bake for toffee. This is as crafty as I get. Come on. You know what I'm like for cooking. You know I'm useless. So I'm going to try and make, so we've got it to about there. We can go a bit thinner. I'm going to do a couple of prints because then I'm loving these chats. Would air dry clay work? Yeah, this is just air dry clay. Absolutely fine. Any clay. All my clay has dried up. Oh, no, Chris. I wrap mine in cling film, Chris, to make sure it stays good because I'd be heartbroken if it, if it you know. How can you lose an A4 stamp? Tracy can lose an A4 stamp. No, no problem at all. So you've got your clay. 
Would gesso be okay? Yeah, absolutely, Bev. Just paint it any old hour. It doesn't matter. So add some corn flour, like so, to your clay. That's as close to corn flour as I'm getting, trust me. I don't bake or anything. And then what you do is you get your hands like this and then you wipe it on your trousers or your pajama, your husband's pyjamas. When are your new stamps being released? My next release, do you mean, Lindy? I've just finished drawing them and I've given them to Abs. I've got a new release out now. So can you see, I've now got this stamp. I've now got my clay here. Let me see if I can try and bring this in so you can see. Then what you're going to do is ink up with Versamark ink. Ink up nicely with Versamark ink. You should wear a body cam climbing your chair. Then we get a glimpse of the mess in your room. Oh, Carmen, I can't imagine such a sexy sight as me standing on a chair with my husband's pyjamas on that are nine sizes too big. Honestly, the, the thought would put you off your tea. Did you lose the connection, Floriana? We might lose the connection. If we do, I'll just come pat live again because this is not going to be a short session. This is going to be a long session because I'm determined to keep you motivated. So you've given that a good inking while I've been waffling, okay? So that's your Versa mark. And then what you're going to do is take your stamp and I'm not going to use all this clay. I'm going to do half the butterfly because I want to do another image as well. So then just press your stamp into the clay like so. What are we saying? And covered in corn flour. Exactly, and covered in corn flour. Oh no, corn flour at the back of the cupboards. Things fell out now on the floor. <laughs> I like the fact you all go to your cupboards. I just think it's hilarious. So as you can see, let me see. You're going to find this difficult to see. But I don't know whether you can see that. Let me see. Can you see that? Down a bit, Tracy. What new designs have you done? And are they being sold now, please? Uh, yes, the designs I've done now are out now Lindy that that's the latest new release that's out now these are what I'm using some of the stamps now um so yes and also if you join my group I don't know whether it'll show let me put paste the group here oh it will there's my group and in my group I've got all my stamp designs in there in an album so can you see that sorry can you see that can you see the the look at that text there how wonderful that text is Oh, plain flour, any old flour, Sue, that'll do, as long as it prevents it from sticking. So then what I'm going to do is, I don't like straight edges, so I'm just going to tear around this glue. Glue? Glue? Clay. I don't like straight edges, so I'm just tearing around that, because when it dries and we paint it, it looks fab. So I'm just tearing around that. I just, I just tear around it because I don't like it straight, okay? So you've got a bit of clay so you could create something else out of that. What could we... I don't, I don't want to waste this clay. Let me just wipe this. Bear with me a second. Whoops. I'm just... I'll show you. I'm just wiping the corn flour off my stamp, like so. Just wiping that off. And then the other, the other, let me show you what we've done in clay. Let's place that on one side. Let me show you the pieces I've done out of clay now because I've done some prep. I can't, I've got no space left anywhere. Right, what we're saying. Right, never use clay, so I'm looking forward to this. Oh, good. So let me show you some clay pieces. So we've got these stamps. And when you look at your stamps, hang on. You wouldn't think that the paintbrush would look like that or that the dragonfly... Now, with the dragonfly, can you see the difference? I've done differences for you. What happened to the ink? What ink? What happened to the ink? Sorry, Frederica, I'm confused. So, with this one, 
if I wanted to keep it white, the clay, I stamped with black. So I stamped with Versafine clay. So this isn't a paint colour, we'll show you in a second, Lindy. So this is stamped with black. So what you need to do is once you've done your clay piece, which is white, you need to then paint it black, okay? So paint your clay pieces black. Or you can keep it white like this and stamp in black. Sorry, I had to go f to dig for to get sausages out of the freezer for tea. Looks like it's going to be sausage lolly. <laughs> oh, I've only got two All and Create stamps, one with butterflies. Give them a try, Julie. The ink you put on the stamp. Oh, the ink I put on the stamp was Versamark. It's clear. It's a sticky ink pad. It's a sticky ink pad that I put on the... It's only clear. Clear ink pad. So it just stops it from sticking to the clay. And that one, I use black ink. I use Versafine Clair on that one. And look how the detail comes up on that dragonfly. You even got the word embrace. That's how detailed it comes up. Do you paint it before it dries? Well, let me be honest with you. When I did these, I painted it before it dries. But this one, I painted after it was dry. Makes no difference. So let's bring this butterfly. Yes, it's a clear ink, Frederica. Well, you won't realise, honestly. That's, that's why we go live, Frederica, so you can ask as many questions as you like. Honestly, you can you can get you can ask as many questions as you like. If we don't ask questions, we don't learn. So what I've got here is I've got Finnabar's old white matte wax. Oh, and it smells gorgeous. And I've got gilding wax by Pebio. Okay, and we're going to bring this butterfly. You're watching from New Orleans, Louisiana. Wow, Frederica, that's amazing. Isn't it fab how we can all connect so far apart? I just love it. So what I'm going to do now is pick up the wax, but don't go straight onto there. Dab a bit off and just bring it to life like so. And this is why I wanted to do the butterfly. And what I do is I take a bit of the gold as well and add a bit of the gold. So I'm adding bits at a time. Can you see? I'm only adding a tiny amount. Just a tiny amount. But this butterfly is going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. I just love it. Hey Tracy, from Deft, the Netherlands. Hello Karen. Welcome. It's so lovely how we can all connect together. Especially in these difficult times as well. But as you, what I do is I add a bit of wax, for, thank goodness in these times right now for modern technology, absolutely Gina. I think this live thing will be the way to go for the future. You might be right Julie, you might be right. I actually like the lives, I feel more relaxed when I'm doing the lives. When I'm in front of a camera I'm a nervous wreck. So I'm just adding this bits of gold and what you need to do is take your time. Don't be in too much of a rush. Pick up the, the, a little bit each time. Love the New Orleans, visited three times. Wow. So I'm going back over with the white, where the gold is. And this wax from Finnabar is a matte one. So it takes down the shininess of the gold one. I was outside, so didn't realise Tracy was live and was filthy as I've been doing the stock fencing. So PJ is the only option. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Lynn. So I'm just now adding this. I'm going to lift this up so you can see it even closer. But the detail for me is just fantastic. This is another way to use your stamps. This is why I love stamps so much. Because everybody can do this. Everybody can do it. And what you do is you keep going back... And you can allow that wax to rest, allow that wax to rest for a couple of hours and then come back and add another layer of wax because that's how you, you know what I'm like about layers, that's how you get the layers. 
So what you do is you, you go away, come back again and add another layer of wax. Light touches, don't add too much wax. As you can see, I don't take much and then I dab it off. Tracy, can you show me the pot of gold wax so I know what I'm looking for? Pebio. Can you see? Pebio gilding wax. Let me turn it round a bit. Gilding wax. Can I use, sorry, what colour wax? This one is just gold. This one, the white one, is matte wax old white i'm glad you're all replying to each other oh thank you janice they are dirty well used stamps Ginny. i've always got dirty well used stamps trust me but i like to share them on workshops that's part of the fun but as you can see if you keep going over and adding late obviously you don't want to see me do this you want to see me finish the project so that's enough I'll show it close up for you. Just let me put... Oh, I'm putting the wrong... I'm putting the wrong lid on the wrong wax. What a drip. So just to move these out the way, let me get a wipe. Oh, I, I like using stuff I haven't used for ages. Got to keep you occupied, Sue. So what you've got here, look at the stages of the clay. Let me, let me see if I can get them all in. Okay. Let me pick that butterfly up. I mean, what you were doing. Oh, yes. Yes, Ginny. Yes, you can do it with stencils as well. But look at that butterfly. I just think that is just gorgeous. Thought you were on at four. No, sorry, Debbie. On at three. Hopefully it arrive soon, Debbie. I'm thinking you could dry brush with iridescent acrylic paint if you don't have any gilding wax. Absolutely, Joanne. Absolutely. But that butterfly from a stamp is totally different. And then we're going to bring in, let me just show you some ideas. I don't know how long we've been on. When did I come on? Three o'clock. We've nearly been on an hour. Wow. But just looking at, look at this. That's the butterfly on your background. Like so. Yes, you can use your imagination starlights. So that's your butterfly just gorgeous this is the flower which i'll probably use today do you like how i tore around it i tore around mine i don't like straight edges okay is it still possible to color the white clay the white clay you can paint with anything paint your white clay with anything this is the paintbrush i think that'd look fab as well i mean look at that paintbrush what country Sorry, I've missed Frederica's comment. I'm from the UK, Frederica. The, or, the, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to think about my design. So let's just move the clay pieces out of the way. But even in white, you could add... I mean, that looks good as well, just in the white. It doesn't have to be coloured. Just so much detail from the stamps. The stamps are stunning. I just love how they've turned out. So let's move these out the way and then we can mess with them each one as we go along. Okay, so I've got my stitched piece now. And what I want to do is I want to add, look what I've got here. What messages? Oh, I thought Frederica asked a message. The paintbrush is, I love the paintbrush. I just love that. Can you imagine that? with wire wrapped round as well. The, if you wrapped wire around that, that would look fab, wouldn't it? I just love it. And it's even picked up the little fine lines on there. Linda Evans, put in a large order and so excited to receive your stamps. Oh, bless you, Linda. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so I'm so excited to be watching live and you are replying back. I love what uh, I love. This is why I love doing lives, Frederica, because we can communicate with each other. But can you see the fine lines on the paintbrush? Even that is showing up. The fine lines and the numbers. It doesn't take much to excite me, but I just love how it shows every detail up. So what I've got here is I've got some vintage tape measure. 
It's an old tape measure, this is, that I got from a vintage shop. I love them all, Ros. Me too, Ros. So I'm going to use a bit of this, like so, because I don't want to attach this to my plaque yet in case I want to do some stitching. That's what I'm thinking. Keep us going, Tracy. It's just finished up on my news first. That's another 709. Oh, no. This is why I'm doing the Facebook Lives, Lorraine. Keep myself going. So I'm going to cut another bit of this vintage. This is so vintage, this tape measure, that you can't even read the writing. So I'm going to, I'm just playing around with my design, just so I know what I'm doing. I want it up here because what I'm thinking is I'm going to put some chicken wire. So I'm just deciding where I'm putting everything. So bear with me. Use lots of clay, but only ever with moulds. Look, I know it took fab with stamps. I've just gone. I can't get over the butterfly. Because it even picks up the text and the bumps. Every little bump it's picked up. Sorry, but things like that excite me. I'm so excited by that. And you just keep going back and adding the wax and it gets better and better. I am, I am slightly weird, but there you go. Loving loving the oh bless you rita it's so lovely knowing that you're here rita it really is knowing that you're all here so what i'm going to do i'm just thinking about my each every time i do it so i need to make sure that it's going to be visible so i'm just thinking to myself where everything's going so you have to bear with me so I've now got, I've got some Dina Wakely ultra thick gel medium, which I'm going to use. Will you continue the odd live after lockdown? Absolutely, Lindy. Absolutely. I know, poor families, Patricia. Absolutely, I'll be doing them live. So, and I may even be doing some online classes. It's better that way. So we'll adhere the glue. So I'm just going to adhere with this thick gel with my finger, this tape measure. I'm messing with my piece that I created with the stencil, like so, and I'm going to add that here. And this is a vintage tape measure. And if I use this thick gel, it gives me some time to play. What are we saying? What was the that pot, please? This pot, Lindy, is just an adhesive, ultra thick gel medium. You could use PVA glue. Tissues and clay are drying. Yay, Carmen. I'm loving this. I love the fact that you're all involved. I don't want to miss your live videos. How do I connect with you? Frederica, you just add me as a friend. So if you click on my name, you add me as a friend. I don't know whether my name will pop up if I put the... Or it won't let me add it here. But if you click on my name and add me as a friend, you'll see me pop up. I'll bore you senseless with all my lives. I would love online classes. Oh, definitely, Debbie, I'll do them. I'll be doing one shortly. So I'm now going to add this here, and I'll be doing one for James as well. So doing one so like that. So I'm thinking to myself now about my composition. Just tried a stencil with the air dry clay. Love the result. Yes, it's fantastic, Babs. When you use it with the stencils, it works fab. So I'm going to be having chicken wire here. This is chicken wire from my garden. And I'm going to be having my flower or my butterfly here. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud, so you have to bear with me. I'm just practicing. Can you imagine? So what we could do, like, oh, I've got, I've got glue all over me fingers. I'm just going to, just cut that bit off because I don't want that bit. Like so. You see the butterfly could go here as well. Oh, I just love them all. The paintbrush also looks good. Look at the paintbrush, it looks fab. Look at that. Just now during the live, I couldn't resist. What? Oh, you mean you had to go calm and yes, sorry, you're replying to someone. Multitasking, watching you and listening to the BBC updates. Oh, bless. But the paintbrush looks fab as well, look. Look how cool that looks as well. Oh, I'm loving these. So what I need to do now is I've just cut some of this. I need to add 
some black just to bring in the black from the background I need to bring in the black I love how you're all replying to each other I don't think you come down south much you need oxygen or something Lucy I haven't come down south yet I don't, I, th I don't think I've had an invite down south a few people have asked me but normally shops invite me and I go down south or somebody arranges a haul but no I travel anywhere well I used to before we had the lockdown so just adhering that you're just going to have to make sure that that sits that might not sit because it pops up that's it I've got glue all over my hand I love it with the paintbrush Ros as well but I'm probably going to use the flower this time I can't make my mind up between the paintbrush and the flower but we'll see and then I'm going to use the drag the butterfly in another project so just allow that to sit there another piece of the black we've got to bring the black in but you've got to make sure it sticks believe it or not I have just used chicken wire doing an old cupboard up so I've bits left yay Sue that's a result that's a result so I'm now going to add this here what are we saying would love to see you down south oh bless you Kim Do you think, I, can't, I can't imagine ever traveling again it just doesn't seem real just to remove the glue just allow I'm sorry I've got glue all over my hand this is what I'm like all the time just allow this to sit but this is what I like about the gel medium it gives me a chance to move Ooh, bubble wrap given up listening to the updates in the BBC <laughs> bless you Ginny Essex needs you oh that's so nice we can't have four because that will play with my head I can't have four pieces so I'm going to have to have a piece up here as well I'm just this is going with the flow so no plan this is going with the flow so I'm just adding a piece there like so I've got to clean my hands bear with me a second my hands are disgusting what are we saying you could use the weaved weaved clip trays and cut up looks like mesh absolutely yes you could Linda and Hampshire us in Devon Tracy oh bless yes I need a holiday don't I down south I need a holiday down south do you think I'll ever get a holiday so I'm now going to there we go that's much better I'm liking it already and you do know what you can do oh actually we'll do that at the end this is why I end up talking to myself most of the time so what I'm going to do now is take my chicken wire oh yes I'm liking that you see you don't have to go too over the top and let's stitch it in place what's this say is anyone near Preston for a class Tracy will do one there I'll do one anywhere so let's get some thread so I've got some thread and I'm going to stitch my chicken wire because I can stitch through this tissue that's crafty yes I've done one at that's crafty before because Ginny was there come back to Malrose oh Malrose was lovely Malrose was a delight seriously more people should teach in Malrose the journey was just wonderful what a lovely journey that was let me just I don't know what I'm holding this up and you can't see hang on there we go so I'm just going to stitch this in place we need to have a gathering with PJs on absolutely I think when I do my online work my workshop in a group we should do it in PJs never mind all this dressing up I can't be bothered to dress up I'm in my PJs now so I'm just adding this so really the idea of this project is to give you something different because I've done cards now my glue's coming off because I've knocked it just let me place that back on take you see obviously you've got to remember when you're at home things have got time to dry Lancashire Sue the Preston stop suggesting anywhere that isn't Hampshire <laughs> stop suggesting anywhere that isn't Hampshire that's so funny oh now my threads come out look there's one cross I've got bits of thread everywhere I've now got to thread this live but look at this big eye 
Mind you, that's making my eyes go funny. Threading, threading needles live. What a joke. Don't own PJs. So you can just wear your pants then, sorry. So what material is the background? This. And we made this earlier in the live. We made it. We made it out of tissues. And it's so solid, you can actually stitch into it. It is fab. I am loving it. Don't have any what? PJs. She doesn't have any PJs. I was saying we could do a workshop in PJs. Look, I keep losing my thread. What are we saying now? No, no sharing. I'm not playing nicely. <laughs> I like it when you share my videos, though. That's good. Hang on a minute. I'm, I need to find my little spot now. I need to find where I am. There we go. I was busy concentrating on your... It doesn't matter that you were late. And you can watch it on Rewind. You can listen to all my waffling on Rewind. So I'm just stitching this into place because this is just what you want to watch live. But I've got to do it because it's just me. I just need to do it live. And then I need to add a stitch down here. No, let's add a stitch here. Do you, do you ever talk to yourself? Don't you have your own PJs, Tracy? I do, but I can't be bothered to wash them because I've done the cleaning today. So I thought I'll do the cleaning in Ian's pyjamas and then I'll put some clean ones on after I've had a bath. I'll dirty his up, you see, and his can be washed then. I just can't be bothered to get changed, really. Let, let's, be, let's be honest. I can't be bothered to get changed. So I'm now adding some more stitching. I'm in Basingstoke, always up for a messy up, mess, meeting up. Oh, what a nice idea. Yes, you could meet up. So I'm now adding this so it stitches my chicken wire and it's captured some of the thread from the machine stitching, which I adore. Just, just one more stitch down here. I know this is not riveting viewing, but I've got to add this stitching. I've got to do it properly. Look, it went wrong. What went wrong? What went wrong? What went wrong, Karen? Look at this. You see, it's got four stitches. I can't have four stitches. He's got to have five stitches. Sorry. Can't have four stitches. That will drive me mad. I keep stabbing myself with the needle. It's got to have five stitches. I have to do five. Sorry. I just can't do four. Just doesn't look right. And that, that will upset me. It'll upset me too much. You probably won't see one of them anyway, so then I'll have to add another stitch. Because when I put the flower on, you won't see it. So I'll end up adding another stitch. Facebook Live went off. Oh, I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still here, thankfully. Right, I'm just going to fasten that off in the back. Doesn't matter what the back looks like because we're going to stick that down. So this is what we've got now. Look, I'm, I love how you can stitch through it. I'm loving it. Look at this. I love how you can stitch through it. I'm so happy. You see, I'm going to hide a couple of those stitches now. Oh, it doesn't matter because three are still visible. That's how we're going to have it. Look. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, it doesn't matter, Lynn. Catch it on catch up. It doesn't matter. Who cares? So now we're going to stick this to our plaque. So now what we need to do is add some of this gel medium to our plaque. Are you bored yet? Let me move my plaque out the way. Rita, I'd definitely be up for that. You see, somebody's up for something, Rita. Are you meeting somebody, Rita? I just love this. I, we're all getting together. We're all communicating. It's fab. So I'm just adding some of my ultra thick gel medium to my plaque I could add it with my fingers but I'm adding it with a palette knife because it's easier that way just make sure you get all the edges what we're saying never bored I'm playing catch up that's all right Michelle you play catch up hang on I need some more wipes got to wipe my finger I've got more glue on me than I've got on the project so a bit more glue down here I'm trying to keep up with what you're saying as well 
I've been pretty determined this life to try and keep up what we're saying. No, they are far too infrequent. Oh, what's infrequent? What's infrequent? The, you just said to Lucy, it's far too infrequent. What's far too infrequent? Tell me, tell me. Right, let's put our plaque on. You need to add a fair bit of glue because you want it to make a good adhesion. Right, never bored watching your face. Oh, you're so kind to me. Right, so what we need to do is then press this down on your plaque like so and then you can maneuver it if it's not quite right that's better because i've used that ultra thick gel medium it gives me chance to to and you see you'll trim round the edges you'll trim round the edges but i can't do that until it's dry can you see you'll trim round them edges I will show this on Facebook anyway, but you do that when it's dry, not when it's wet. Oh, I just love this. Costing a fortune on craft store. It's costing me a fortune, Linda. Every time I do a Facebook Live, I go off and look at what you've all bought, and then I go and buy some more. TV off, Tracy on. Bless you, Linda. I'm loving these lives. I would thought, I'm saving on petrol, though. I'm saving on petrol not going out for meals and things like that so i'm saving on that so i'm saving on some things but i'm not saving on craft but i adore it anyway i'm sorry but i just love the hobby let me just get rid of that glue because this is what i do i go live and then i let everything dry up right oh i'm loving this i like it when a project comes together but look how many different where's my flower so you could you could have your paintbrush look look how lovely I'm going to make more of these, but look how lovely the paintbrush looks. It's keeping her sane. Not that I am. No, none of you are going. I would love fantastic in a frame. It would love. Yes, it would look nice framed. By the time you've finished these Facebook lives, none of you will be sane. I know, but seeing abs, I buy some things he has as well. <laughs> Whoops, Lindy. So I've now got that stuck down. Make sure you press it. Obviously, I'll give that time to... But you could use the paintbrush. You could use the butterfly and trim around this edge here. So the butterfly would look fantastic as well with, with a rusty bit look. I found this rusty bit, but you could even have a rusty bit in the centre that you can stitch through because you can stitch through the clay. So there's another idea. You could have the dragonfly... Even the drag, you could just cut the dragonfly out. They just all look fab. Paintbrush looks cool, don't it, Chris? No, we don't do sane. I've got baby wipe envy. <laughs> Somebody bought me a packet and sent to me in the post. So I was dead chuffed. But I'm going to use the flower. Like so. That's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to do another one later with the paintbrush because i love that i think that paintbrush is ace so i'm going to add my flower like so that is definitely what i'm doing i've made my mind up so we're going to add the flower oh i need my palette knife again i love the dragonfly i like the dragonfly eugenie as well to be honest i love them all but now i've got lots of projects i can do haven't i it means it's not just one project it's not a one one wonder you've got loads of projects you can create it doesn't have to just be one project. You can create lots of projects. So place that on there. Let's keep three stitches visible. I love how them three stitches are visible. Like so. And this will dry overnight and it'll be solid. That It'll be solid tomorrow. I just keep wiping glue back on my hand. Look, why am I using the same wipe that's got the glue on? You see, this is what happens when you get a professional doing a live video you wipe the glue all over your hand it's lovely i often said we need a robber bank <laughs> you, i like the rough look as well i like the rough look but i tore these edges i'm going to tear i'm going to tear round my edges and then repaint but i tore around them edges i like it torn i like the rough look Make sure it's straight, Tracy. That does help. 
like so. And then what I'm going to do, oh, I love it, I love it, love it. I'm just going to add a little bit more wax just on that bit there. That's it, I've gone quiet because I'm adding wax now. Aldi baby wax, 45p a pack, perfect. Have you got all these crafty projects around your hat? No, Sonia. More often than not, I either sell them, recycle them, or I give them away. I don't have them all around my house. I've got a couple around my house, but not all of them. I'd need a 10 storey building. So now what I need to do is this is going to be my sentiment like so but I need to tone it down a bit so it'll go there like that focus on the good because that's what we're doing today aren't we we're focusing on the good focus on the good what else I need me I need a clip as well make sure that's stuck so don't forget we'll trim this so it looks like a plaque so I've got a few bits here that I'm going to use I've got a paint blob no, buy those in bulk as well. I can give you my address to send. <laughs> Bless you, Eugenie. So I've got this black bit of paint here. I'm going to use that. So let's get me glue. So I just need to test. Yes. So I'm adding this paint blob. This is a blob of paint off my paint pot. So I'm going to add that like so. Where's my... Let me just get some cut and what I managed to reply. You managed to reply to yourself, Sue. I do that all the time. Reply to myself and wonder why I get no sense. I'm terrible. I get no sense or anything. But I always reply to myself. I'm such a drip at times. So I'm just going to add a bit of brown to this. So this is the same vintage photo we've used in the background. See, we've all done it. We've all applied to ourselves. And I think we should focus on the good at the moment because that's all we've got left. Focus on the good. It's important. We need to focus on the good. Like so. Where's my lid gone? Uh, yes, Tracy, what are you doing? Bring this. Only just worked out how to do it. <laughs> Don't worry. It takes me ages as well, Sue. Me and technology are diabolical. We are the worst at technology. Absolutely dreadful. Focus on the good. I'm absolutely focusing on the good. I've enjoyed this Facebook Live today. It's like my little little treat. I'm supposed to be working tomorrow, doing some work. Focus on the good, okay? So we're having that there. It's coming together now. What are we saying? I'm pants at tech stuff. Oh, I'm pants as well. No problem, Maureen. See you soon. You're very welcome. Thank you, Maureen, for joining me. I've got a depressed dog, as she should be going to... Oh, bless Lee. <laughs> You're better than medicine for lifting my spirit. <laughs> oh, bless Sandra. So I've now got this little... Um, they're like Tim Holtz ideology. I forgot what it's called now. But it says found... Not that you can see it on the camera at all. So I'm going to use that as well. Not that you can see it much. Sometimes when you raise it to the camera, it goes all blurred. So I'm using that. So I'm going to add that here. I'm I, let me play around a bit. I, I have to play around a bit with my, with my pieces. That's it. I want a few pieces on the flower, you see. I don't want it to just be on its own. What are we saying? I hate instructions. If I can't work it out, it's not user-friendly. I'm like that, Sue. I cannot sort out instructions. And when I get really bored with instructions, I say, Ian, I, I don't understand these instructions. And really what I mean is I can't be bothered to read them. It's not that I can't understand them. I just can't be bothered to read them. It's bad, really, isn't it? I should read instructions. I'm so bad. I'm not, I'm not a good advert for instructions. I'm not. I'm hopeless found oh yes love it just love it and now i've got my index cloth i see you have crafters nails look they've all broken look broken nail normally they're manicured but they're broken no such thing as a manicure anymore 
I'm doing too many Facebook lives. So that I haven't got time now for manicures. Not that I'd be allowed out anyway. I love how you're just all applying to, replying to each other. You're the best. So if you'd like to share the Facebook Live, we've got a little giveaway as well. So that would be much appreciated. Oh, I, I'm so pleased with the, how this has turned out. I'm so pleased with it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Just broken one. Oh, I've broken loads. I'm doing that much cleaning as well that I've made a total, total mess of my nails. But hey ho, I don't need to look fancy, do I? I just need to create projects that inspire you. I don't need to look posh, do I? Of course I don't. Make sure that's at the end, Tracy, like so. And then what we need to do. Oh, I'm loving. Look at this. Imagine when it's all trimmed, when it's dried solid. Hello there. Set you. Hello. Look at that. And then what we can do is we can add touches of gold to our tissue. So we can add some. I don't know whether you'll see this on camera because it won't pick it up. But you can add some wax to some of your tissue it shows up for me it won't show up for you but it does work adding a couple of touches of the wax to your tissue it really does work well oh I love that I love that I'm so pleased with how that's turned out and how long has it taken us one and a half hours that's taken us one and a half hours but we have created all these clay pieces as well let me move these out the way. I've got to do something with that paintbrush. But look at all the clay pieces we've created. So what do you think? Just thinking if it needs any more now. Oh, thank you very much. If no ink on your hands, you're not crafting properly. Absolutely. My hands are disgusting now. But I don't want to add any white splatters because I don't want to take away from that. And I love the fact that I can see all this. And I've got stitches and this will take 24 hours to dry. Yeah, and, and I will trim it a bit, give it a bit more of a torn edge so that it looks like a plaque. So it'll have more of a shape, but it will have a torn edge. But I just love. And we've created that from tissue. Absolute love it. So we've created that from tissue. We've machine stitched. We've had a little blob of paint. We've created it from clay. I'm so pleased with the tissue in the background. Can you see all the raised bits on the tissue, how it's dried? It's so textural. I just love it. Look how that, that is raised. Just so pleased with that. So what I'll do is tomorrow, I'm going to create a project for a workshop and I'll get that workshop up and running. So I'm going to create a project tomorrow for a workshop and I'm going to do some magazine articles. So I shall be back live on Monday. I don't know what I'm doing. So I haven't got a clue what I'm doing on Monday. But we'll do a live on Monday. And it'll probably be... I need to check when Olga's going live. I'll have to check what time I can go live on Monday. But I think it'll be my normal time at 6 o'clock. Not got tissues, but think I have white paper napkins. Try them. Absolutely. Absolutely. 10 out of 10 here. Oh. Uh, yes, I think I'm going to keep it just as it is, Jenny, because I like that. I don't want to do too much. Oh, thank you, Janet. I'm so pleased you enjoyed I really enjoyed that. And we did a couple of different techniques. So on Monday, it'll probably be a card because I'm going to work on a workshop piece for you. So I hope you give it a go and I hope you share in the group so I can see your work. And thank you very much for your company. I've had a fab time. I've really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. So I'll get this workshop piece done. And we'll do the... In the workshop piece, I'm going to do the tissue technique with stamps. And I think we'll do something with that. So that's what I'm going to do for the workshop. But I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. And I've really enjoyed your company. 
thank you so much i really have enjoyed your company have a lovely afternoon and i'll see you on monday the one day special is at six on monday oh good point carolyn good point i'll have to do a different time maybe go at five i might have to go at five o'clock on monday thank you carolyn thank you for reminding me thank you so much for your company so we'll probably go five o'clock on monday then or maybe earlier so i'll go a bit earlier on monday but i'll let you all know i'll advertise it so that it doesn't affect the one day special so thank you very much for your time have a lovely evening and i'll speak to you all later thanks very much take care everybody bye bye